What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Vire Launcher for Android. This is a free 3D launcher that was released early last week and I was pretty impressed with it so I thought I'd show it to you guys. This launcher is in beta so don't be expecting a boatload of customizations right out the box. The selling point for this launcher is its special 3D effects. It has a total of 12 home screen transition styles as well as 2 built in themes. Other than the user interface settings, you also have four other settings, one of which allows you to enable real-time virtual light reflections on the clock widget that's built into the app. Um, as you can see there, it's got a little simulation of a real-time uh, light reflection. Um, so yeah, it's not real. As you, <laughs> it's a simulation. It's using the accelerometer to adjust, and uh, it's really a really cool idea, actually. You can use real-time reflections while flipping through screens, and you can enable full screen transitions that include the dock at the bottom. So you can see it's actually included in the transition itself. The themes included in this launcher are the stock icons, as you can see here, so I don't really count it as a theme. Uh, it, it has Pebble, which kind of reminds me of the uh, HTC Sense version uh, that came stock on the My Touch 3G slide. Uh, it reminds me of it how each app is enclosed in a, in a colored box there. Uh, and uh, the one I use is Outline, uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video. It gives it kind of that, that glass effect uh, that I enjoy. Taking a quick look at the app drawer, you can see that it's pretty smooth. It's, it's very uh, quick, very snappy. It's got that little ripple effect uh, that indicates where I tap my uh, finger on the screen. Um, up at the top right-hand corner, you have this little tab here to, that uh, differentiates between user apps, uh, recent apps, most use apps and all apps. Uh, so that's the app drawer. Very basic, pretty clean. And uh, I also wanted to show you guys the clock here. Not only does it have that little effect there, not only does it have the uh, the time and the date, but also doubles as like a quick access to your favorite app. So you can uh, you can add widgets, and you can uh, like I said, you can add your favorite apps there or whatever apps you want to add there. Uh, tap and hold the the actual app drawer and drag and drop into here. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know, if you don't want to uh, clutter up your home screen with apps or if you don't feel like going into the app drawer itself to find the app, you can just put your favorite apps in here um, and slide down whenever uh, you want so you have quick and easy access to them. Let's go ahead and check out some of the home screen effects that we have built in. Uh, they give you a pretty good selection here. One of my favorites happens to be Tile. Um, it gives you the <laughs> Tile effect, obviously. Uh, it's really cool, really cool clean and you know smooth and slick uh, I really like that one uh, that's the main uh, you know objective of this application or this launcher uh, is to give you the full effect you know the 3d aspect of everything you know without costing you any money uh, that's what I really like about this one uh, so I would definitely recommend this if you're into customizing your phone uh, let's check out another one here let's try cube free cube free is obviously a cube effect um, uh, it zooms in and out as you scroll through your screen uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try Flip. Flip is pretty much uh, you know the same as Crystal, only it doesn't give you uh, an actual like sheet of glass look. It's just really flat. Um, Crystal is actually my favorite one. Uh, like I said, it just gives you that real 3D premium feel to the launcher. It looks really cool. So Vital Launcher seems pretty solid. I've been using it as my daily driver ever since it was launched, <laughs> no pun intended, and I can't really find anything wrong with it. It's got great effects and it's got a lot of potential too. The developer has promised more to come in the future such as resizable widgets, uh, folder support, new clock styles, a better looking app drawer, tablet support, and you know, a lot more. So thank you guys for watching. Like and favor if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, if you're really into uh, customizing your phone and you really want to give it that 3D effect, uh, then uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this app. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.